how is the king going to fix things? We read at the beginning of chapter 11 that he went about teaching and preaching. And the cry that's brought against uh, fundamentalism, evangelicalism today, is in a world like this, surely you've got to do more than just preach the gospel. We've got to become socially engaged. Well, the Lord Jesus answers that issue, doesn't he? He says, well, I do believe in evil. I do believe in judgment. I'm not closing my eyes. I'm not pretending. I have a solution to the problem. And that solution is in the proclamation of the gospel. Now, by and large in America, the evangelical world has lost faith in the gospel to change lives. They don't believe that anymore. And that's why they become so politically active. They look at the culture and they say, well, obviously the gospel doesn't change lives. So we're going to have to become actively involved in the political process to change society. And so the Lord Jesus answers this whole issue of how he's going to deal with evil. And he, he says there, it's, you're like little children playing in the market. You know, I'm the king of the castle and you're the dirty rascal. He says, you think that the solution to the problem is just get all the bad people together and cut their heads off. He says, the problem with that is you're all bad guys. There wouldn't be anybody left. And so my intention is to try and woo some of these bad ones, these sinners, over to my side. And, and this is my tactic. I'm not going to force them. I'm going to love them. And this is a message, brothers and sisters, that we all need to hear again, isn't it? That the way the Lord Jesus won us was not by his power, but by his love. And if we have interrelational problems, we're not going to win the day by arguing or by fighting. We're going to win the day by getting down at the foot of the cross, aren't we? And that that's the path. And we know that, that that's the Lord Jesus' strategy with us. That's how he won us. And we're not going to win a battle any other way but by following the example of our Lord. Philippians chapter 2 is not simply Christology. It's not simply a description of what happened to Christ. It is an exhortation, isn't it? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's talking about being like-minded. And he says the secret of being like-minded is being lowly-minded. And the secret of being lowly-minded is being Christ-minded, following the example of the Lord Jesus. And so to go into the battle with your dukes up, well, that's, that's the way the world does it, but that's not the way the Lord Jesus did it. And he's won the day. He has triumphed gloriously. He sits now at the right hand of the Father. And if we want to see victory in our own lives in relationships, that the answer is not lording it over, not a matter of, of intellectual arguments. It comes back to this submission to the Lord Jesus.